Hey guys, Anthony TZ. Before we get into uh, today's episode, I first wanted to go over a few things. One, uh, this is going up before Dark Watch, so don't worry, Dark Watch will be back tomorrow. I just want to take a moment to uh, do a solo play episode for today to uh, bring up something that's on Kickstarter. Uh, I am not being uh, sponsored at all. I'm not receiving any money for anything. The people behind this game just wanted me to talk to you guys about it just for a bit. Anyways, uh, right now I want to talk to you guys about uh, this game on Kickstarter called Intrepid Izzy. It's uh, being developed by Senile Team, who are in the Netherlands. They're making a game for the PC, Dreamcast, and PS4. It's a colorful, imaginative world that you can get, that you can explore. You get to jump, fight, and puzzle your way past its many dangers and mysteries. And uh, right now, it's about halfway to its goal. The uh, amount that they're looking for to back this uh, project is forty-one thousand three hundred seventy-one dollars. Or thirty-five thousand thirty-five thousand euros. Almost said dollars there. And uh, from the day I'm recording, there's twelve days. But uh, by the time I'm posting this up on Monday, there will be uh, only ten more days. So the final date for this project is going to be on Friday, October twenty-seventh. Now, as a Dreamcast player, I love my Dreamcast. I love all the games on the Dreamcast. And this game really got my eye because it's, it incorporates a few things that I've kind of wanted in a game for quite some time. I love platformers, I love beat em ups, and this game kind of encompasses both of those aspects. There's some puzzles here and there too, so you get a little bit of everything in this game. I mean, not a lot of, I don't know about a lot of puzzles, but there's definitely a lot of like baddies you can beat up, there's platforming stations, stuff like that. Anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to take a moment to talk about those guys, and uh, I'll post a link to their YouTube and their Kickstarter page in the description below, so you guys can check it out for yourself. So, and uh, personally, I am a backer of this project. I started, you know, that's also why I'm also bringing it up because I want to see more people get involved in this game, and I want to see, to, I want to see it come true because. It's an all-or-nothing kind of deal, so feel free to help out uh, see now team with their game. Anyways, let's get to the uh, game that you guys are here to watch me play, which you had no idea I was gonna do. Now, where is the mute button? Ah, here it is. Welcome to Killer Instinct for the Xbox One. Now, besides like doing that whole promotion thing for uh, CNL Team, which again, not being sponsored for, they would just ask me to talk about it, not paying me at all. I wanted to do this because this game has a lot of Halloween themed uh, fighters that I thought would be kind of appropriate to play during this time. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fight some CPUs with one player, one character, I'm just gonna play as the character Saberwolf, who is like my second favorite character in this game. My first favorite character is totally Riptor. And as you notice, I don't have all the characters unlocked, so give me time, I will get those guys eventually. First, let's fight Spinal, the pirate, possibly Viking looking skeleton. We shall go here. Now the difficulty I'm playing this on is on hard mode, I believe. Yeah, that's the last mode I left it on. Because I've actually done a few rounds of this game. One round I did, like, first I did on uh, beginner, then I went up to medium, then I went to hard, then very hard on the last fight. And then the recording I did right before this, 
I did accidentally did the first fight on very hard, and then I just did regular hard throughout. But uh, this time it's just gonna do hard, just hard mode. Now I'm upset because the last recording I did, I had the game volume off, so you couldn't hear anything about the anything gameplay wise. You could just hear my voice, which really makes me sad because I had a lot of good fights. Anyways, okay, probably not the best time to focus on the past. Time to focus on the present. Here we go! Got the groove on! Oh shit! Break it out, break it out, break it out! Well, I totally failed that fight. <laughs> Ah, that was a good way to start this off now, wasn't it? Alright, let's go on to the next fight, shall we? Alright, here we go. Or we could just be in total blackness. There we go. Alright. Next, I want to fight Mira. Mira. Now, don't let that uh, bug beetle motif uh, fool ya. She's actually a vampire. She's got bats and everything. Fight on. And the fangs. The the fangs are a good giveaway too. Versus vampire time. Have you confessed your sins? All right, we're off to a good start. Shit! And then I had to open my mouth. On. Shit! That's what I wanted to do! Oh, crap, Shit! Okay, lady, you're being a dead horse here. Come on, do the combos! Not what I'm asking you to do! Damn it, damn it! Run! Alright, come on, man. Oh, get those things away from me! Just, just explode! Or, totally fail at it! Shit! Why did you like spaz out, Saber Wolf? Come on! Come on, man! Come on! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Shit, come on! 
On to the next fight, guys! Holy shit. I was actually worried I was gonna lose that one. Alright. Score is 1 to 0 on the box. I mean, 1 to 1, really. I wish it was 1 to 0. Can we not count that as final fight? <laughs> Just kidding. It's, it's kinda tied up here. Alright. Alright, we fought a skeleton, we fought a uh, vampire, now let's fight a mummy. Conra. Alright, let's see here. Let's. Ah, here we go. Forbidden Archon. Eh, that's a face some mother could probably even hate. That is one creepy sound bitch. Alright. You make a fine specimen. Okay, what is with your freaky creepy joker smile there, buddy? Alright, there's the freaking attacks I've been meaning to do. Why did you like stand out and growl at him? Keep going, man! Keep going! Oh, shit! Whoa! Okay. He's apparently Sand Sub-Zero. Okay, let's get away from the spinning vortex of sand. Come here, you frickin' walking toilet paper roll. Yeah, background of the stage has turned into my color. We've gone blue, bitch. Shit. Yeah, even I can do that too, bitch. Come on. Did you just fucking sneeze sand on me? Rip and tear through that freaking walking sand bag. I was gonna say sand bag and toilet paper roll, but somehow I wound up with a sand bag. Even I have no idea how the hell that came out. Alright, you got your five second nap. Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Break out of it! Uh, you earned that howl, buddy. Holy crap. That one seemed a little easier than the last two fights, but that could have just been me. Speaking of mummies, did any of you guys see, like, the uh, most recent mummy movie with Tom Cruise in it? Personally, I thought it was not too bad. 
Maybe it's not better than the uh, first Mummy movie with Brandon Fraser in it. I don't know. But it's definitely better than the third Brandon Fraser Mummy movie. That's just me. That's just me. Alright. We fought a skeleton. We fought a vampire. We fought a mummy. The next logical uh, fight is a Japanese horror ghost. Basically, imagine Samara from The Ring with the freaking giant's weapon. We shall go to the village of this place. Fight on. Izako is easily, possibly, the creepiest freaking fighter in all fighting games, in my opinion. And yet, I love her so much! Alright, alright. Come on, loading screens. Here we go. Yeah! Shit right now. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. What? Hell no. Come on. Whoa. Yeah. Ow. She's inside me! She's inside me! Holy crap! Honestly, I have no idea what I just activated, but it seems like I got a little stronger. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Get your grudginess away from me! Oh, uh, well, looks like whatever I did earlier ended. Oh, 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 hey, hey, hey. Woo! Alright, come on, Saber Wolf. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Why are you, why are you doing that? Ah, that actually freaked me out. Get up! Get up! Come on! Come on! Come on, activate your little shadow thing! Come on! Yeah, hello. Okay, I'm okay with losing to her. Well, I think to right here is a good ending point. Don't you all? Whoop! Shit! Drop the remote. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're just gonna go back to the main menu here. All right. Well, uh, yeah, this is a solo play for now. I will definitely play Killer Instinct again in the future sometime, but not right now. This was just a solo for uh, Halloween season. And, uh, yeah, like I said, Dark Watch will resume tomorrow. And uh, later today, we've got another solo play I did the, the other day. And it's going to span for the rest of the week, so that's what this week's uh, solo play will be on. And I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. But uh, just know this, it's first-person shooter. And team based. And dealing with lots of robot bullshit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, feel free to check out the uh, links at the bottom of the description to uh, CNL Team's uh, YouTube page and Kickstarter page for Intrepid Izzy. And uh, hope some of you guys uh, pledge some money to it. 
really am looking forward to that game coming out. So, yeah, that's my two cents on that. Hope you guys have a good rest of uh, Halloween season. See y'all soon. Oh, holy shit!